it, you know, it, I, I think there is a problem with the streaming, uh, the way the streaming platforms work, especially Netflix. Netflix have been trying this, um, this what's it, the ads tier level as well. Where, tier. Yeah, where apparently nobody's gone for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, been a, it's been a bit of like people are like, nope, I don't want ads in my shows. I mean, I, I, didn't, it, I don't think it was offered outside of the United States I'm not, I'm, or maybe North America. But apparently, it's not gone down very well. No. So, did you hear? The, did you hear about how they present their metrics on how a show does well or not to studios or showrunners? No. Um, yeah, I, I read this thing where I can't remember which showrunner was saying this, but Netflix said, "Okay, they showed her um, a graph of three bars. Her show was in the middle. One was like, and it was one bar was up high, one bar was low on the on the other side, and hers was in the middle." It's like, okay, so here's this show here compared to what your numbers did. They didn't give her numbers, just like, and then here's the other show. <laughs> so you need to do this much. And she goes, so it's well, just a bar graph. What, yeah, she's like, what kind of show am I, is it that you're comparing the, ours to? How many viewers? How much promotion did I have? They didn't tell them anything of that. So everyone's in the blind, even the, the showrunners and the production houses. I have I have heard that there are lots of showrunners and people and creatives that are starting to get fed up with Netflix, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, uh, it, Matt Jar Matt Jarbo in the in the chat reminded me which it was it, eighteen ninety nine was the German show by the people that did Dark right that and did that did it got a lot of watch really hours, well. and then it got cancelled and it's like what what are you doing? <laughs> but There's was that, would that I mean that was a co was that a co production or did they buy that? Well, that's the thing. It might have been a co-production. I'm not sure. Yeah, because uh, with co-productions, you know, there's all that stuff that can, weird stuff that can happen, like one partner backs out and the other two can't handle it by themselves and yeah. things like that. Yeah. It, I mean, the only the, uh, the only streaming service which really I think, there are two streaming services that I think have longevity, and it's because they're backed by massive companies, and that's Disney Plus and Amazon Prime. They're, they're the only two that uh, Netflix is. I just, they're making a loss every year. It's like, yeah. I don't think they've ever made a profit, which is not unusual. Um, but it's, it's been a long time now. I'm pretty sure investors are getting a bit fed up. If I was investing, I would not, I would not invest in Netflix. I'd invest you in guys, one of the others. The, the investor would go to Netflix. Like you guys started this whole thing. Yeah. You can't make any money off of it. <laughs> yeah. How does that work? Yeah. I think a lot of it is because of lack of original content. So a lot of their content is licensed, which means yeah. that they still have to pay people quite a lot of money for that content. Even the supposed Netflix originals are still made mm -hmm. by other studios. Mm -hmm. There's no in-house Netflix studio, I don't think. And Well, no, uh, there is an in-house Netflix studio, but most of it is they just act as a streaming distributor now. Um, and they they also they also shut down a large portion of their in-house studio, didn't they? Mm -hmm. I know animation yeah. pretty much got the heave ho yeah, they, a couple months yeah. ago. But um, with with Netflix, like they'll call it a Netflix original, even though the show came out five years ago. You know, yeah, but yeah. just hit in North America now. Like they do that a lot with a lot of anime. You know, mm -hmm. what they I noticed and the, and the K dramas, that. The, the K dramas yeah. and the C dramas yeah. that. Uh, uh, you, that the young people are watching now <laughs> that I quite like yeah they're, they're, there's a lot so of Korean drama and literally all they do is they just take these dramas from the, just studios and uh, channels in Korea or Japan and just buy the rights the distribution rights internationally I've noticed they do this with a lot of BBC and ITV shows as well so like there's one on them at the moment on Netflix which is called Treason and I think that's a BBC or I, I can't remember if it's ITV. It's, it's one of the two British yeah. um, broadcasters that made it. And another one was Inside Man, which got, I think, quite a lot of people watching it with David Tennant and Stanley Tucci. Awful show. Awful, awful show. But from Stanley really, Tucci. really like, like, like it gave you shivers. It was so bad. It was so bad. If I hear David Tennant go, I'm the fucking vicar again, I'll just I'll, I'll lose it. <laughs> I, I, I hated that show. I, wa I watched it. It was the first show I've ever watched in like two times speed on Netflix. You know how you can watch them in two times speed? Because I was like, I know this show will do well for the site, so I have to watch it. It was so bad. It, it, he that, was terrible in it. 
yeah, that and the the promos for uh, 80 for Brady. I imagine the lunch on the set, they were all having the same conversation. We're better than this, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. we, we why are we? We're, we're good, aren't we? Why are we doing this? I know. It's that. Uh, so there's a lot of crap on these, on these streaming platforms. Uh, and I that's the mod- what, I'm sorry. Would it be, uh, uh, let me just say one thing because I'm old. Um, <clears throat> what you were talking about, Edward, with them just picking up the shows and, and uh, doing them, that's the old American network model. Yeah. And, yeah. and actually, uh, BBC and CBC too, they would just buy shows from other countries. And then all of a sudden, people got into the idea like, no, we'll remake it for our country. Yeah. But Netflix isn't doing that. And, you know, people are watching it. It makes, it makes yeah. a bit of sense not have, not remaking these shows because a lot of the remakes were awful. I remember the American remake of the IT crowd, which I think oh. was only the pilot <laughs> in the end. And then, they were like, they got, they, I think they got they got Richard Ayoade to come back for it. Um, he was the best thing about that show in the first place. And then they, wow. they I aired the pilot, and everyone hated it, and it didn't get it didn't get the yeah. green light to go ahead. But like Ghosts one of the shows on CB- are CBS. Uh, uh, yeah, that's is, another one. I mean, I, I I hated that, and then when I saw the British version, I'm like, this is brilliant. How do you screw this mm. up? It's worked. It's worked once with The Office, but The Office was the very Office, different. Yeah. Yeah. The the American Office was very different, and they didn't just make one. They also made a French one. They made um, a can a French Canadian one as well. The, 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 Fra- yeah, they made a Fran- Fran- Fra- 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 yeah. francophone Canadian. Yeah. Yeah, um, the uh, the I think the French one is called the Office, or the the Canadian one is called Le Bureau, because you know how the Canadian the the Quebecois like to do that, like they do it with the voice. Everywhere in the world, the voice is called the voice, whatever country. The only place where they changed the name was in Quebec, where they called it La Voix, and everyone mm. it's it's just a very strange place <laughs> when it comes it to French. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but. but um, the city's beautiful. The food is great, <laughs> and and if you speak a little bit of French, they love you. Yeah, exactly. sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it happens a lot. The, the the show I remember that did very well was uh, Bodyguard. Was the show with um, the guy from Game of Thrones that people want to play Bond? Uh, I can't remember his name now, but um, I'm gonna. That's gonna annoy me. But that that show was a, an ITV show and ended up on Netflix internationally, and it, and it got another like kind of bump through that because a lot of people ended up watching it on Netflix, which I think is also a good thing because it, it it means that you can watch shows that you probably wouldn't have got to see otherwise because they were shown. Like we would have never seen Squid Game, really. Or there's another. There's a detective one that's like a Japanese show that people love. Uh, that's doing quite well. The, the attorney, attorneys, I can't remember. But the, it, oh, the, attor- the think, attorney, uh, extraordinary <laughs> attorney Wu. That's it, extraordinary mm. attorney Wu. I, Apparently, people love I ver- that show. I very much enjoy that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that that's no, another show that was taken from a uh, just a a Japanese um, network. And they you know, there's a South that. Korean show called Lawyer Doctor. Lawyer Doctor. Yeah, wasn't that like a wasn't that a skit from something like Family Guy or something? Slow, slow down, <laughs> or I'm, Rick I'm, and Morty. Slow, slow down, I'm I'm writing this down. I'm gonna get a, have a picture ready tomorrow. <laughs> Lawyer doctor. Lawyer <laughs> doctor. By day he's a lawyer. By night he's a doctor. <laughs> How does this show work? <laughs> he he, he litigate he litigates his own malpractice cases. Yeah. <laughs> that's perfect that's it that's what he does that's the show <laughs>